What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Daniel Kinahan. Gangster Daniel Kinahan is on the run in the Middle East after uproar at a boxing venue. Okay, wow. Specialist detectives are actively investigating reports that under pressure crime boss Daniel Kinahan has left Dubai and is traveling from country to country in the Middle East. Senior sources said last night that if the informant that if the information given to officers by high level informants is correct, it shows that pressure on the 43 year old gangster from Gordai and other police forces is having a huge effect. He has been trying to reinvent himself as an international boxing promoter. Wow. Okay. Um, this is pretty much all we have about him. I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't, you know, I guess it's a, a numer, uh, a numerous amount of things that they could be looking for him for, but I thought this was something in particular, but it looks like he's doing some Pablo Escobar slash type stuff where he's on the run. Now I will say this. I know certain, a lot of channels, people are eating this up and it is big news. I mean, because Canahan was, linked to one of the biggest connected fights that we have for this particular era right now. Okay? The biggest fights that you could ever make in the last five to ten years would be Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. He was a part of that people. After other officials and other uh, um, uh, companies and other parties found out about Daniel Kinahan's involvement, they started to step back. Okay? Now, I don't know what else... Uh, Daniel Kinahan got into in Dubai why he left Dubai because he just relocated there who knows something else must have came awry right so we don't know but I do say this it does look bad on Tyson Fury it does because he was the guy that he put his trust in another guy that that other guy which is Kinahan turns out to be dirty turns out to have a past that he can't bury you know under the ground it always comes back to bite him it's it's haunting him i don't know i think what he's doing he's trying to elude uh um and authorities by the things that he's already done you know and the slice and the silver lining was getting in there with tyson fury and in fact making him a advisor to get things done i think that was something that he was trying to venture into but before then, your past will always come back to haunt you. But again, we don't know what the charges are. We don't know what really, we've, I've heard of some, but we don't know exactly what they're going to throw the book at him with, okay? But I can tell you this, he hasn't been caught yet, but it does reflect on the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. It does. You guys are hugging arm in arm. You guys are embracing yourself like brethren. That you see a lot of pictures on the internet where you have Daniel Kinahan and Tyson Fury. You know, of course, people are going to associate that with and start looking at Tyson Fury crazy and cross-eyed, and probably accuse him of selling drugs at this point, right? You know, you never can overlook a narrative when it's when it's evolving right in front of your eyes. Okay, but anyway, David uh, Daniel Kinahan is on the run. Uh, I haven't heard what Tyson Fury says about this at all, you know, but as soon as he does, I'll let you guys know. You guys tell me what you think uh, of Daniel Kinahan and his on the run in the Middle East. Leave your comments below. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.